Welcome to EasyCart. In this video tutorial we're going to walk through how to utilize the gift card system within EasyCart. Uh, the gift card system is pretty flexible and as you can uh, imagine it builds a gift card which is a unique uh, 12 digit code. It has a dollar value attached to it and you can send that around to people and uh, give them gift cards where they can shop on your store, enter the code and use the uh, or redeem the coop or re redeem the gift card. So let's take a look at how the gift card system works. Now as you'd expect let's go ahead and just add an item to your store cart just like you're gonna check out. Uh, you'll see over on the right hand side a gift card section and you can type in whatever you want here and try to redeem a gift card. Uh, it's gonna tell you it's not a valid gift card number. So let's look at how you get those built. Now there's two ways. One way is to actually sell the gift card. If you were looking for a completely automated system, uh, you can go to products and create an actual gift card. And the other way is to actually go to marketing and manually build a gift card yourself. And so you'll find, let's take a look at the first method here. Let's go to gift cards <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and go add new. There really isn't that much to a gift card. Uh, it's just a 12 digit code, uh, you, letters and numbers, no spaces. Uh, you kind of create something unique and something that uh, somebody wouldn't uh, just automatically recognize. And then you can just go ahead and give it a dollar value. Uh, and you can give the user a custom message uh, as well. Uh, Congrats on the $25 gift card. And that's really all there is to apply to a gift card. Uh, if you want to go use that, uh, for example, my shopping cart right now is $103. And so obviously, if I type in my gift card number and go to redeem, uh, it's going to take off just the maximum that it can and then the user can continue on and check out. If you have the opposite scenario where maybe a user has a hundred dollar gift card and they only spend twenty five, then they're going to have uh, you know seventy five dollars left on the gift card. So it's a pretty pretty standard practice. Uh, of course these unique codes you want to make sure you protect those because uh, they are essentially good as cash. So uh, let's take a look at some of the other ways uh, that we can uh, modify the system. First off is this whole gift card section. Not always do people use it so we can come in here to settings and we can go under our panel settings for checkout and this is where we can uh, have a couple of options with our gift cards first off you can disable the gift cards and if I do that that just takes out this whole section so maybe your site doesn't use gift cards at all and that might be uh, just what you need if we turn it on we can also have uh, whether or not this applies to the grand total or just the subtotal uh, because sometimes people want to have a gift card apply to their products excluding shipping uh, for example. And so people would still utilize their code but they would have to pay the shipping cost. And that's just a business decision if that's how you're running it. Uh, and we give you the option to apply it to the grand total or not. So that's a good setting for you to customize. Oops, Let me go back and refresh that. Okay, so we've got our gift card applied. Now if you go through and you place an order with your gift card, uh, you will see when we edit the order, you will actually see the gift card show up in here so that you as a store owner know, hey, this user applied a gift card to it. And that's nice to see. Sometimes it's it's you get a discount applied and you're not sure, if, well, was that a promotion? Was that a coupon code? Was that a gift card? And so you can kind of decipher what happened with the order here when you get discounts. So marketing and gift card or gift cards 
that's where you can create a gift card now the next way is to have your store actually create a gift card for you and so I'm gonna go to products and add new now gift cards is a part of our professional or a premium edition and when you create a new product you can actually have some presets done for you uh, so I'm gonna come down here and select gift card and we'll just call it gift card and I'm gonna go ahead and give this a $25 price to start with and I don't really have a image for it I'll just go ahead and pick this coffee cup and I'll go ahead and create it and if I jump over to my store I have a gift card product now when you open up a gift card product it's a little bit different than a normal product you will see this one for example uh, I can type in a person's name I can type in their email uh, I can say uh, this is from your husband and here is twenty five dollars off for a special someone so this form allows you to basically collect some of that basic information for the user uh, on the gift card and if I go ahead and add to cart and I've got a few other items in here which is fine I'm gonna go ahead and just check out and I'll go ahead and do a test credit card oops and let me submit the order here and now what it's done is it went ahead and created a gift card for us in the system automatically now as a user who purchased the gift card I can go in here to my order and this is why I always like people to have the user accounts turned on I know some people like guest checkout and they don't want to collect users and have them have accounts but certain products like gift cards is really important to have accounts so that users can always come in here and actually see their order history and you can see for gift cards I've got this option to print online okay and it's gonna have all my details with it as well of course the image doesn't have to be this big this was just an example but uh, what we see here next to this is the to from the message as well as the gift card ID and this gift card ID is what the user will want to pass along to the other person and so you can you know a person could turn around and print this they could turn around and email this information to the user um, however they want to get that out to them uh, so it's pretty automated uh, the user will also see this in their emails that they get and be able to print off this gift card because that gift card code is unique to this person and we will see that on our end as the store owner you can see if you go to gift cards that it has created this custom 12 digit code with the $25 on it automatically so I didn't have to do anything the user purchased it it created it and now they can turn around and redeem it they can email it to whoever they want to send their gift card to um, so on and so forth uh, which is a great feature because it all automates the entire process now another feature uh, that some people like to do and I'm going to jump back to my gift card product a lot of times people want to have custom amounts on their uh, gift card and that is another feature we offer uh, we just have to create an option set for it and we have an option set so I'm going to come over here to option sets and I'm going to create a new option set and if you're curious about how to create these you can definitely create one uh, 
or watch our video on advanced option sets. Uh, I'm just going to call this gift card pricing and for a label select your gift card amount and gift card and is this required please select a gift card amount again if you're not really sure what's going on here with these option sets that's a great video to watch I'm just creating an option set and then I'm going to come inside of my option set here and I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of options um, this one will be called $50 gift card and it'll be sort order one and what we want to do with this is we want to create pricing and we want to override the pricing that happens with my gift card so when I do a price adjustment it's not going to be a basic price adjustment it's going to be an actual price uh, product price override and so instead of twenty five dollars this is going to be fifty dollars I'll save this and maybe I'll just duplicate this real quick so you get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm going to go into this $50 one. I'm going to say now it's 100 and the price override is going to be 100 So I'm just creating an advanced option set. It's got a couple of options. Now I'm going to jump back to my product and I'm going to attach this to it. So I'm going to come down here to Option Sets. I'm going to use Advanced Options, and it's going to be the gift card pricing. Okay, let's take a look at our product. So now I've got a gift card. They can fill out their same information, but now I have this option here. And as I switch, you'll notice the pricing now changes so my gift card now is adjusting price the user can fill it out and add it to the cart and now you have one gift card that has multiple values and it makes a great way for you to send this gift card in marketing on Facebook you can tell your customers hey send a gift card to your users just come here buy a gift card and email it to them uh, your system basically automates the entire process so it's a great marketing tool uh, a lot of people get gift cards a lot of people don't utilize gift cards uh, that's probably why they're such a powerful marketing tool um, and it's definitely worth investigating so if you have any questions re you know maybe rewatch the video here uh, check our online documentation uh, but it's a very powerful feature to check out uh, we also have videos on our coupons and promotions and we're going to be taking a look at our abandoned cart system as well. Thanks.